changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Hi guys, Sir Slothingham here. And today we're going to be playing Fallout 4. Look at that guy. Soon we're going to be editing him. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Alrighty. Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Uh... Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, thanks for the compliment, lady. Uh, let's get right into the character creator. So Fallout 4 uh, is a game... Well, you'll see, but... Um, you get to create your character, you go out and fight some people. It isn't exactly for kids, unlike pretty much every other one of the games I've played. So, you, uh, so you younger audiences might want to steer clear. But, um, so, uh, well, it's just about as bad as Skyrim, really. And a lot of people like that, so, um... Oh. Yeah, and also, sad. speaking of Skyrim, it's made by the same people, so there's going to be a lot of lovely glitches. But anyway, uh, let's uh, just edit up our character. I'll skip when I've made a couple changes. Hold on. Wait, before we do that. Look at the ears. <laughs> let's see what we can do with the ears. I'm terrible at making ears and noises. Oh my god, that's so small. Large ears. He's got like radar dishes. Okay, we might. Oh, you can you can change the angle. <sighs> Imagine. Okay, I'm gonna make some massive radar dish ears. Look at that. They're massive. <laughs> I, he can probably send out a Wi-Fi signal. Anyway, let's uh, angle those back, scale them down, make them look a tiny bit more natural. I think it's gonna have a box-like head. But anyway, I'll skip. Myself. Like I said, I'll skip to when I've made a couple changes. All right, he looks pretty good. So um, I think let's change his body. I know what I'm gonna do with this guy. So he just needs to be all the muscle. All right. Yep, that looks good. Uh, now, I guess we can add a few scars. I'll skip to that. As handsome Alrighty, as the day um, we met. I've added some scars. A faint one on the right side. And um, a, a three-clawed strike on his left eye. So if I some wild animal or something, I thought it looked pretty cool. So uh, let uh, this first part is just like walking around the house looking at things. So it's not too exciting. But uh, yeah, I'll skip to when something good happens. And 
today's newspaper just delivered? Oh, uh, these three blocks on the right, it's weird, they seem to spell out I-C-B-M. How odd. Hmm, cool. Interesting. Yep, I-C-B-M. <laughs> cool. Will either be anyway. great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Uh, hey there, Codsworth. How's it going? Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the balls hmm. later. Okay, Sean's pretty happy. It's probably oh, I think I heard a knock. He comes for you every day. Ah, oh, hello, Vault Tech Sales Man. Vault Tech calling. Good morning. Is it yeah, uh, I know Just this look guy. At that sky out there. Uh, he has some you dialogue. To know how happy He's I pretty much just going to get us to assign our stats, which we'll see uh, What's so how important? good we are at certain things. Less than your I'll just uh, get through this conversation. You, you guys can sir. listen if you would this like. Country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. Sounds great. All right. Oh, um, it is. Believe yeah, me. I... Uh, now, I'll definitely just uh, do this question. I just sort of skip it because it's just pretty much advertising. I just need to uh, assign my stats. So uh, I just need to verify uh, some information. Assign them after That's all. Gives me the thingy. Yeah, sure. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Alrighty. Now. Uh, now our name. Of course, I've already got a name. As you can see, we're just this muscular, tough guy. So, our name shall be... Hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Big Joe. Who doesn't love Big Joe? I will definitely be super strong. We need some endurance. Perception is useless for what we're doing. We don't need charisma. We could be pretty smart. Endurance is just for extra health. Agility. Uh, that'll probably come in important later, but not right now. And a little bit of luck never hurts, so I'll Wonderful. probably uh, increase That's that later uh, on in the game. Anyway, the so we'll just chuck that over to the vault, and uh, let's just skip to uh, when something interesting happens. Thanks again. this first part, you know, it's see your vault tech guy, but yeah, like not people, super right? interesting. For you and Sean, ah no yes, just sit down and watch some tele. <laughs> Good answer. Or not, okay. I have my yeah, I forgot to mention, my controller is broken. So every now and then it'll just randomly press buttons. So like, um, if like, and since if you move, you automatically get off the couch. I can't really sit down. But anyway, um, apparently Sean needs some help, so we'll go help him. You heard Codsworth. Oh, Sean, the baby, just won't stop crying. Okay, demon child, please stop bothering me and my robot. You are scaring the crap out of. Oh my god. He loves. Okay, um, I'm gonna spin that and run away. You just jump scared me. Let me out, please. She locked the door. Help! Help! Calls us, calls us, please. Come help me. Oh my god, she wants to talk to me. Alrighty. What do you want? Uh, the park. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mum, you should come and see this. Uh huh. Alright. Oh, please let me leave. Okay, Cosworth, uh, reporting yes, something. Oh, it's the news. Okay, let's have a nice little flashes, sit. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, oh, I forgot. Yeah. yeah, that controller's really broken. It just randomly, um, it randomly walks forward sometimes. So it's not super annoying to the gameplay. It's just uh, a little annoyance. But uh, still, it, if you want to sit in the chair, not so good. Yo, is that the nuclear apocalypse calling? I better get the hell out. Okay, just wait oh for the God. door. We, we need okay, to the bye wife and child. No. You guys are on your own. I'm getting the hell out of here. Who needs a child or a wife when you have an underground vault? Alrighty, uh, I'll just get to the vault. See you guys then. Ah, oh, why, hello there, uh, lady. Oh, you're Almost there. scared. We're gonna be okay. Oh, look at that! I love look you. at that chopper! Both of you. We no, you lady, you're obstructing my view. Oh what my the God. hell? Oh, oh no! Yo, I'm pretty sure explosions like that—they're oh pretty God. deadly. You might want to go under. Oh crap, that's coming for. Okay. 
That was close. Into the vault. Alrighty, here we are in the vault. Uh, let's uh, just speed run it. Pretty much what they're gonna do is they're gonna want me to get my vault suit and then yeah, stuff like that. Just uh, it here. appears he wants us to get in the chair, so let's go in the chair. Nice suit. Alright, anyway, let's go. The pod will be Freezing time. Before we head deeper in the vault, just relax. <sighs> time for a whole new life. <sighs> Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In. Well, she died, and now I've got my baby. Hello there, freaky. Oh, we're being frozen again. Isn't that nice? Ah, finally, awake again. Alrighty. Uh, let's just get out and get moving, I guess. Yeah, just ignore the wife. I mean, she did try to lock me in a room. Uh, that's kind of... Mm. Oh, it's a big cockroach. Now let's check this room and then continue. I'll punch the crap out of any giant cockroaches that try to attack me. Okay, nothing interesting is on that terminal, so uh, let's keep going. What have we got in here? Oh crap, a big cockroach. I need to get that security button first, and then we just go to good old whack. Alright, looks good. Cockroach is very dead. You just grab some stuff, why not? What have we got here? Oh, has a holo tape. I'll definitely be taking that. Cool. Avoid the cockroach, rad roach, and just smash. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'll skip to when I've got out. <laughs> oh, hey look, a gun, some supplies. Very nice. Alright. Okay, I think this is the last cockroach. Rad roach, I keep calling them cockroaches. Anyway. Oh, look at that. A pip boy. That could be pretty useful. Just take it off that guy's arm. I'm sure he won't mind. Let's just clamp this bad boy on. And uh, wipe off some dust. It's very dusty. Probably because it's like pretty old. Anyway. 
What do we got? Okay, it's booting up. Loading. Loading. Alrighty. Cool. We've got our pit boy and we can change our inventory. That's pretty good. Let's just equip those glasses we found. And uh, I think we're ready to exit. Plug that thing in. And give the button a good old smash. Which is exactly what you should do to the other red button, aka the subscribe button. Alright, here we go. Door is open, and the platform will just move us forward. And now we can proceed to go back up to the surface. Now I think we've got everything we need. Big Joe, a very strong guy. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.